Hello, I am Leanne Sparner. In this section, we will discuss basics of fractions. The specific objectives we will discuss are recognize types of fractions, convert mixed numbers to improper fractions, convert improper fractions to mixed numbers, write a fraction in lowest terms, and use the rules for divisibility. Now we would like to define the types of fractions. If the numerator of a fraction is smaller than the denominator, the fraction is a proper fraction. An example of a proper fraction is two-thirds, which means two parts out of three equal parts. A fraction with a numerator greater than or equal to the denominator is an improper fraction. Now let's look at some exercises of converting fractions. Here we have a mixed number. A mixed number is the sum of a fraction and a whole number. And we wish to convert this mixed number to an improper fraction. We have 2 and 8 elevenths. So we multiply 11 times 2, which is 2 times 11, 22, and we add the numerator, which is 8. We add the 8 to the 22, this mixed number 2 and 8 elevenths become 22 elevenths plus 8 elevenths is 30 elevenths. So 2 and 8 elevenths as a mixed number is 30 elevenths as an improper fraction. Now let's look at this improper fraction and let's convert this fraction to a mixed number. You will notice that it is an improper fraction. The numerator is larger than the denominator. And in order to convert the improper fraction to a mixed number, we will divide the denominator into the numerator. We will divide 12 into 78. 12 divides into 78 six times. We multiply 6 times 12 and get 72 and subtract, and we get a remainder of 6. So 78 twelfths as a mixed number will be 6 and 6 twelfths, which of course we will reduce the 6 twelfths to 1 half. So 78 twelfths as an improper fraction is 6 and 1 half as a mixed number. Now we will look at an example of writing a fraction in lowest terms. We're going to take the fraction 27 over 45 and we're going to write it in lowest terms. To write this fraction in lowest terms, we're going to divide both the numerator and the denominator by the greatest factor they have in common. So that greatest factor is 9. So we're going to divide the numerator by 9, and we're going to divide the denominator by 9. 27 divided by 9 is 3. 45 divided by 9 is 5. So 27 45ths in lowest terms is 3 fifths. Now let's look at the rules for divisibility. A number can be evenly divided by 2 if the last digit is an even number, such as 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. 3 if the sum of the digits is divisible by 3. 4 if the last two digits are divisible by 4. 5 if the last digit is 0 or 5. 6 if the number is even and the sum of the digits is divisible by 3. 8 if the last three digits are divisible by 8. 9, if the sum of all the digits is divisible by 9. 10, if the last digit is 0. Let's examine a couple of numbers for divisibility. Let's look at the number 72. 72 is divisible by 2 because the last digit is an even number. It is divisible by 3 because the sum of the digits 7 plus 2 is divisible by 3. It is divisible by 4, because the last two digits are divisible by 4. 
is not divisible by 5 because the last digit is not a 0 or a 5. It's divisible by 6 because the number is even and the sum of the digits is divisible by 3. It's divisible by 8 since the last three digits are divisible by 8. And it's divisible by 9 since the sum of all the digits is divisible by 9. And it is not divisible by 10 because the last digit is not 0. Now let's look at the number 105 and let's determine divisibility for 105. 105 is not divisible by 2 because the last digit is not an even number. It is divisible by 3 because the sum of the digits 5 plus 0 plus 1 is divisible by 3. It is not divisible by 4 since the last two digits are not divisible by 4. It is divisible by 5 since the last digit is a 0 or a 5. It is not divisible by 6 because the last digit is not an even number. It's not divisible by 8 because the last three digits are not divisible by 8. It's not divisible by 9 because the sum of the digits are not divisible by 9. And it's not divisible by 10 since the last digit is not 0. In this section, we have examined the basics of fractions. We have defined types of fractions. We have converted fractions to mixed numbers and mixed numbers to fractions. We have reduced fractions, and we've looked at rules for divisibility. So now it's time for you to try and do some problems yourself.